The US government is investing $39 billion into chip production, but it has some serious strings attached. Due to worries over the geopolitical climate in Taiwan and tensions with China, the Biden administration has greenlighted nearly $40 billion as part of the Chips and Science Act. The goal is to help US tech companies produce chips domestically, but to access it, there's quite a few requirements. Chip makers are forced to provide employees with affordable and high quality childcare if they seek more than $150 million. Further, companies are encouraged to use union labor for construction. Regulators will also take into account a company's willingness to refrain from stock buybacks, which is a strategy companies use to inflate share prices with excess profits. Critics argue the Biden administration is tacking on these checkboxes to advance a progressive agenda, and that the pressing need to produce microchips on US soil outweighs corporate policy concerns. Nevertheless, it'll be interesting to see whether government will pursue similar strategies when providing federal grants to other industries like green energy.